Welcome back to Livy's Lovelies, your inspirational craft channel, and I'm your host, Sam the Fabulous. For more ideas, inspiration, swaps, and challenges, click the link in the description below to join our craft community, The Maker Exchange, on Facebook. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, all my artists, creatives, crafters, and makers. Welcome back to the Lovely Lab. All right, so today I am coming to you to do a quick demo of this Master's Touch modeling paste and the metallic, the Deco Art Metallic Luster that I showed you in my previous haul. And, uh, and this is a viewer request. So I figured I'd pull out one of the journal covers that I have already um, created months ago from the voting mailers, the thousands that we received during this here year's presidential election. <laughs> this is one of those ones. I just covered it with, um, uh, what do you call it? A grocery bag. You know what I mean? Like a pa brown paper bag. <clears throat> Waste not, want not. So now I'm just going to use one of the stencils that I picked up. I tried to take this off. It didn't come off completely, but I probably should have. Hold on. Hold that. Hold the phone. Okay, I had to do my best to get that sticker off because it would have drove me crazy. All right, so I am just going to take this and attempt to see how I want this. You know what, I actually need to probably leave this like this because I don't want it all the way down. And, yeah. All right, so, and I want to do it in each corner. No, I don't want to do it in each corner. What I want to do is I want to do it in this corner. And then, so, how do I want to do this? Okay. All right. So I probably should use some washing. Just to hold everything in place. You know what I mean? That's where I want it. Uh, yeah, that's where I want it. Hold everything in place over here and then over here. Whether it will hold or not is a different story, but for now, this is what we're going to attempt to do. All right, so let me go ahead and open this. Okay, it's all oh, thing. Thank you. Oh, right, there we go. Let's, we'll start from here. Actually, we'll use this one, shall we? Yeah. Probably would have been better off trying it on a flatter surface, but we'll, we'll work with what we got, right? Put that in the garbage. Don't I got a paper towel? Okay, here we go. Because it's looking like it's going to get messy. Real messy, like. And I'm left handed, so bear with me, folks. I'm using a um, silicone mat that I picked up from AliExpress. Two came, I think they were probably like two for. Four two dollars or something like that very inexpensive they weren't they weren't expensive at all all right so I think there's a little part there that I want to smush some down into I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it okay Let's get it, get the girl to dry in. You know, this doesn't, uh, it's too even right here. Let me bring some of this down. There we go. 
hope it doesn't go under the stencil. We'll soon find out. Okay. There she is. Alright, let me clean this mess up and then I'm going to try and dry it so that we can see just how much dimension it adds to a project. And, you know, with, um, I'm sure that it comes in all different uh, thicknesses. But for the sake of this demonstration, we are not trying to make it too thick. All right, let's try and dry it. I'm gonna pause you. Okay, so let me be the first to tell you, this is some quick drying stuff, okay? I put the, use the heat gun for about, is that, that might be a little soft, but I use the heat gun to, um, to dry it for maybe about 30 seconds. And you can tell areas that it's really dry in. I'm going to go back over this in just a second, but um, it doesn't take very long to dry. Now, if you're not using uh, a heat tool of some sort, you probably need to wait for it to, um, you know, wait a couple hours for it to dry, but 30 seconds, 30 seconds to an, a minute. So give me a second. I'm going to dry it a little bit for it thoroughly. All right. So that's good and dry. And now we are going to test out. I have no idea how this works or if this is the brush that I'm supposed to use because all it says in the packaging is to use, and I, anyways, it says to use a brush to um, apply the luster. So I don't know if this, neat, you know, if this is kind of like water, you know, like a paint, but we're getting ready to see folks. Oh. Oh, bring y'all down so y'all can see what I'm seeing. All right, let me switch sides because I'm lefty. Remember. It is almost like a watercolor, if I do say so myself. Ooh. It is pretty. Now, I don't know if I would necessarily use this um, on this colored background. Uh, I'm sure there's a way to make this work. Um, the brown and the leopard. <laughs> or the cheetah print, I should say. But, uh, yeah, just with uh, water and a, a brush, applying it seems to be perfectly fine. Um, I'm assuming that that's what they were referring to. And it looks almost like you can dilute it a little bit. Boy, a little goes a long way. And this modeling paste just soaks it right up. Soaks it right up. And I'm not really trying to be too careful because it's really not that serious. I may use this for myself or if it comes out nice, gift it, sell it, you know, put it in my Etsy, Etsy shop. But for all intents and purposes, I am just experimenting to see how this comes out. It does help to have a relatively decent brush to, to apply it with. Um, and this paintbrush came with the, um, what's it called? Um, Painting with a Twist kit that I got last month from our women's ministry. And we, uh, and I showed you in the video where I 
um, the end result of that my my the painting that I created of the woman who um, with the gold the fur and the gold earrings and right now she sits behind me beautifully adorned the kit was more than what you needed to complete that uh, painting and I enjoyed myself I do hope we do it again although I would sign up to uh, to do it without without anybody else just to have the guidance of the instructor uh, walking you through it so it's just a little more confidence at least until you um, grow your own painting legs you know so I'll probably um, finish this off uh, off camera, you know, do whatever I'm going to do to it, actually, off camera. But anyways, let's just show you what we got. That's up to You can see the luster. There we go. the pearlesque hue and then the texture from the um, from you know what let me see how dark you can make this yeah depending on how wet your brush is you can get it a little bit darker which is nice yeah, you can. How pretty is that? I'll figure out something to do with it. Call of the wild or something, you know. Anyways, I'll touch that up and make it pretty pretty. Um, but yeah, I like that. Okay, so I hope that has shown you how and if you would like to purchase and use the Deco Art Metallic Luster. And I think, again, I paid maybe a dollar something for this, dollar seventy, dollar eighty for this at Hobby Lobby. Um, it says wax metallic finish, but my God, it kind of uh, paints like a watercolor. So, um, anyways hope that's helped you guys and we're back here again on youtube stay encouraged stay blessed stay creative and crafting bye for now if you enjoyed this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up hit subscribe to join the crafty community and be sure to click the bell for notifications of new uploads thank you so much for watching now stay tuned for more from Libby's luckies your inspirational craft channel bye for now